What's good, YouTube? It's Ricky Rose coming at you with a brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be going over the top three best builds in 2K19. Now, obviously, if you're broke, boy, you got 2K19 for Black Friday or Cyber Monday. And I don't, I don't, I don't bash y'all for that. It's low key. I bought it for 60. And I feel like I got a $20 game in return. So I kind of got, you know, finessed a little bit by 2K because this game is good. It got its perks. But then again, it's not as good as you really think. But you will have fun due to the fact that, you know, we got a whole bunch of shit you can do. Now, the first build that I am going to be going over is the point guard and the shooting guard position. Just because I know there's a whole bunch of, you know, dribble gods. Well, self-proclaimed dribble gods out there. Now, keep in mind that each build is going to have different badges. Even if it's the same thing. Um, the first one that we are going to be talking about is ISO. Uh, speed boosting. Uh, clear out the pain, go stand in a corner type of build. Obviously, the point guard and the shooting guards are mainly known for that. Sometimes, if you make a pure uh, point forward, yeah, okay, that's, you know, relatable. But this one is going to be mixed in, and it's going to be a shooting guard. It's also going to be uh, playmaking and a three-point shooter. Now, a whole bunch of people were talking about, you know, why not a point guard? A point guard, if you look at the badges, this one, uh, that's definitely not the build. This one right here. If you look at the badges, it has limitless range on silver. If you go to the point guard, I believe, I'm actually going to step back a little bit. I believe that they have it on bronze. So that's the only reason I'm saying to take over a shooting guard over a point guard. Just for the simple fact that I'd rather have... I'd rather have that badge um, silver than have it bronze just because. Oh, no. Well, they have it too. So that's kind of... They, they lied to me, man. But still, I'd rather have a shooting guard just because they have like more dunking and the stats. So fuck it. I want to go with a shooting guard, but you can go with either build that you feel more comfortable with. And you know, once again, if you prefer to be handling the rock coming up and down the court, feel free to do so. Now, the shooting guard, that's what I want to go with because I, I am going to be shooting. And just having that extra little height and uh, weight, it will make a difference. At least for me, it does. And it's not going to be significant like, oh, he's going to be sluggish. He's going to be slower than a point guard. Not necessarily. You have playmaking in your build. You're going to be fast as shit regardless. So these are the badges that you do get. As you can see, uh, you do get more silver badges, I believe. You get one more than the... Um, the point guard one but the caps is what i'm going to look at the ball control is one thing that you want to look at and the next thing you want to look at is your threes as you can see i have a 79 open three always try to make it where you have above a 80 because there's certain jump, jump shots that work better if you have a certain stat that is above it especially obviously with shooting but like if you have a 90 or above your pure sharp you can actually, there's jump shots that will work more in your favor depending on your stat. So kind of, I'm going to minimize his, his wingspan at the end, but that's the build that I am, I am going to go with. And I'm going to show you the weight and the height that also resorts to this build when you're making it. Now the height, you could stay with the 6'4", or you could go with the 6'5", which is at 89 Either or, it does not matter. There is going to be certain uh, animations that only go with a 90. So if you want, and I suggest it, go with a 6.4 or with a 6.5 because all you need is an 86 to speed boost. So if you want, you can even go to a 6.6, but keep in mind that you have to unlock that attribute. You will not be a uh, what 86 right off the rap, right off the bat because you have to unlock it. Unless they do give it to you, I'm not sure. At least for the, the three-point shooting, shoot, even if you max it out right away and get to an 85, you will not have all your three-point shooting stats maxed out. So you might have to get him to an 87 or 88 before they max out your ball control. So I recommend going with a 6.5 or a 6.4, but I am gonna go with a 6.4 for the simple fact that if you have a 90 or higher, there is certain animations that give you they give you when you have a stat that is higher than a 90 when it comes to ball control. So keep that in mind. Now the weight, you don't need contact dunk, you don't need strength, you don't need box out, minimize your weight. It's just gonna make you quicker, better on defense, 
and just faster with the ball in reality. There should be no reason why you ever would want contact dunk when you have three pointing as your secondary, unless you're a primary driving and I can respect it. Now your wingspan, you're gonna look at your, uh, your, your open shot. As you can see, I'm at a 79. I would drop it down one just to get my open shot three to an eight. That is going to be my first build. And by far, this is one of the ones that are mostly used for the ISO, dribble god, you know, persona that everybody want to portray in this fucking game. But that's the one that I am going to pick as my first. Now, on to the next one. Now, this one, I am going to be talking about the shooting guard and the power forward. Because this is the build that I use. I do not use a power forward, but eh. That's it. The first one is going to be the shooting guard. I am going to show you both of them, the badges that it comes with it. But keep in mind that this is going to play your play style. Now, this one, I am certain that they have different badges. If you make a pure sharp, a shooting guard will have better badges than a point guard. Now, I'm not going to go back and check, but you could if you're eventually, you know, making your own character and you're deciding to make this. And I can respect it. Sharps all the way. Now, I'm going to show you that one and I am going to show you the power forward just because these are the best ones when it comes to making a pure sharp. You could make a center, stay lower to them, to them seven, three centers. Your three points is going to be like a 60 something. And I'm not trying to hassle with that shit. So if you want to do that, you can do that too. But this is going to be the big boys. As you can see, he's going to have pick and popper. And the rest of his good badges are going to be gold. Now, keep in mind that a power forward is going to have height. And the next thing I do want to show you before I actually take this off, because I am going to redo the build with a shooting guard instead. But I am going to show you with the height. If you're going to make a pure sharp, well, a pure stretch, make them 6'11". And the reason I'm telling you that is because if you look at the moving shot, the moving shot is at an 84 if you're 6'11". If you bump it up to 7, it's going to be a 78. Holy fuck. That makes a huge ass fucking difference. Oh, and of course, I am looking at a moving shot three. I'm not looking at the mid, but that's the only reason I'm telling you make a 611. That one inch will not hurt you as bad as those moving shot threes. So keep that in mind. Now, that is one thing that I did want to show you, but I am going to do the whole build with a shooting guard just to run through everything. Now, with a shooting guard, obviously, it is up to you. Like when you're making this build, you can make them whatever height you want. Because a sharp is going to be either slow. Well, he is going to be fucking slow. He is going to be either a spot up or a person that could create his own, you know, shot. But even then, it's just like the clamps in this game, especially if you're going against the lockdown, you're most likely going to get locked the fuck down. So you might most likely be a spot up if you do not know how to get around with your primary uh, pure sharp. So, yeah. That's going to kill you. Now, the height, for me, I had a 6'5", but I minimized his hands, I mean his arms, and it was complete shit, and I regret it. I wish I can just make his arms longer and I would get back on him, but I cannot. Mainly, a whole bunch of people have been making 6'6", six, six, just because they're more agile, they're better on defense, they can move a little quicker, but I made a 6'8". That's what I made just for the height, for the better defense more coverage and it does not affect me like i have i believe a 93 uh no no no. i have a 90 flat yes because it was an open shot three uh right off the rip but i minimized his arms by one and got to a 90 just like i said because the jump shots affect more when it comes to you know your stats or whatever but that's the build that i am going to go with just because i want to show you that's the build that i'm using oh i've seen other people that have the same build as me and their badges off rip all of the main badges that you got on 2k 17 and 18 when it would appear sharp you have this with this build this is the only build because even a small forward cannot get all of the badges that you get 
like Hall of Fame. I believe they don't have limitless uh, Hall of Fame. They have gold when it comes to a small forward. Now your weight, you don't need contact dunks. You don't need strength. You don't need box out. What you would want on this character is more lateral quickness because their defense is complete shit. That's exactly why I made a 6'8". I needed more coverage. I wish I kind of left his hands on D4 or one up, but I kind of wanted that 90 open shot and I still be fucking breaking to be honest. So like I said, the last thing is going to be the wingspan and I look open shot three. The contested is going to be at an 88, but fuck it. I'm still draining my shots. You're going to have Hall of Fame dead eye and you're going to be hitting your shots left and right. So this is the build that I would go as number two. Now for the last build, there is going to be two different builds. And the first one I'm going to show you is the small forward. Small forward. Keep, the, keep in mind, this build is shit offensively. Defensively, you need one on every pro-am team. You need one on every walk-on. You need one on in the park if it's possible. But you need a defending, defending. Why? Because they're fucking goaded. If you scroll down, look at their defense, their shot block contest, their block, their steal. He has a 98 fucking steal. I, in, in reality, I feel like lockdown should have auto steal. Like if, if they see a ball going in their direction, they should react like a computer and simply steal the shit. I, that's how I feel. Cause like, if you look at their stats for offense, they have 60 mid rangers, 60 fucking moving shots. Decent driving dunks, but it, you're gonna get swatted. If you're not open when you're driving, that shit is over with. I guarantee you that because it's it's easy for them to lock you down, but it's easy as fuck to lock them down. Like this is like by far one of the OPS builds, but yet shittiest builds, but one of the most needed. Like <laughs> that's what the fuck I don't understand. Now keep in mind I did make him a small forward. For the simple fact that, one, you can make him 6'10", and that's what I would make him. I would make him a 6'10", and mess around with his weight. And it's, it's completely up to you what weight do you want him, but I'm not really going to keep going any further. Because, matter of fact, I'll, I'll run through the whole build, because then I have to do another build, and it's kind of like four different builds that I got to do. But it's still the top three because I couldn't take this one out to put another one in when in reality, you kind of need both of these. Um, now the weight, this is where I, you don't need speed with the ball, but you need lateral quickness, but you're a defender. So you don't really need lateral quickness because it's already high. So the weight is completely up to you. If you feel like contact dunks is needed, your vertical will decrease, obviously, but your strength and your box out to grab them boards is more helpful for you. You can feel free to do it. Now, don't follow the weight that I choose. Feel free to pick a, a weight limit that fits you, that you feel comfortable with using. I'm not going to pick that for you because, you know what I'm saying? I, I only tell you the best builds, but I also want you to, to you know, add your own, you know, opinion into the to the mix. I don't want you to just copy the entire build. I want you to, you know, feel, feel like you can do some shit. Now, if you max out his wingspan, which you should because you're a lockdown. Now, if you go down and you look at his fucking steals, it's a 99, block is a 98, shot contest is a fucking 99, dog. Like, how the fuck, his lateral quickness is 85, his speed is up there, his acceleration, his strength, you're literally a bot, like, you're a bot, my guy. A fucking box I was at 82, like, you can literally outsnag anybody with this build, and it's crazy. Now, I am going to decrease it one by one to see if it really drops your steel. My steel is still a 99. My shot contest, I believe, went down. And my block. But like I said, if you look at your stats, your open three is a fucking 63. Your mid-ranger, open, 62. How the fuck is your three higher than your fucking... Mid dog, that shit makes no sense. But you're you're gonna be more offensively good when it comes to the paint. So you gotta keep that in mind. Your standing thing is gonna be 80. It has nothing to do with the wingspan, but it has something to do with your height. But I'm just showing you the stats overall. Um, you're gonna be more of an inside man. 
when it comes down to where your shooting is going to be completely shit. You could probably hit a midi, but if that shit is contested, yeah, that shit over with. But like I said, minimize it, maximize it. Always is going to be completely up to you. You know, just doesn't don't don't cop the don't copy the whole bill. You know what I'm saying? Try to throw in your little mix. But the last build that I am going to be talking about is a fucking center. These niggas is cheese balls, my guy. In the one-on-one -on -one court, this is all you see. It's big ass centers, my nigga. And, and it's one fucking build. In the one-on-one -on -one court, this is the only build that you see. It's a pure fucking post. Why? Because these niggas is fucking goaded. They get these animations where they push you away or they if they spin off you and they have their grand bat, it just pushes you and it throws you away. Like, you can't contest it. It's completely over fucking powered. I feel like they need to be nerfed, but post scoring was kind of shit last year, so I can't really... I, I wouldn't say they're unguardable once they get that grand badge or... What, the, what is it? Takeover? Yeah, it's, it's pretty much current for everybody. Like, you can't do nothing about it. You have to just sit there and take it. Now, height is up to you. Weight, I would max that out. Um, I'm going to just try to run through it, but in reality, I don't know... What build I wouldn't go past 71. I'm gonna just go with seven foot just cuz, but I would not max them out completely to where the point where you seven three. I, I just see no purpose in that. I'm not gonna go through it because every time I've come across a fucking post score, they just shit on me. So I've never sat there and fucking talked to a post score in my life. I just said, fuck it. I'm gonna get blasted and I'm gonna just take it. But your way for sure. This is going to be maxed out just because you're going to get more strength. And that's just, you, just look at the fucking strength, dog. These niggas is cheese balls. Niggas got a 99 fucking strength. Dog, these motherfuckers. That, that nigga, bro, he can't jump for shit, though. <laughs> that nigga can't get up. But, you know what I'm saying? You will be babying the shit about, it. You, you'll be babying everybody, dog. Like, that's, that's all it is to a damn this video, long as shit. But your wingspan, you can obviously adjust that to however you want. And as long as this video is, that's going to wrap it up right there. That's going to be the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. You already know who the fuck it is, man. It's your boy Ricky Rose, and I'm out of here.